Junior Addie Baggerly was born and raised in Gainesville. When she was younger, she played a few other sports, but golf is what really stuck with her. Growing up, my dad would actually bring me here to Bostick to practice and play a little. Playing on Bostick virtually her entire life, Baggerly knows every nook and cranny it has to offer. This knowledge played a huge factor in her successful freshman campaign with the Gators, where she was named to the SEC All-Freshman Team. I think that is a real key to her maturity level. Um, you know, I think kind of knowing that you can do that and wow, that was really fun and exciting, but we have more golf left to play and, and there was certainly more that, that she wanted to accomplish that year. And so she did a good job of that, um, kind of using the positives from the week, but then, you know, turning her focus to what we wanted to do the rest of the year. And I see her in that same place um, going into her junior season. I think she. Um, has a lot of confidence, but has really learned that that's only one piece of the puzzle. And then you've got to kind of, you know, get out there and, and put one foot in front of the other. And um, she did a good job of that to start at Yemen's. And I know, um, you know, we'll keep that up this year. Despite the honors Addie received her first year playing for the Gators, continuing to improve was important to her. Her sophomore season, Baggerly won her first collegiate title at the All-State Sugar Bowl. Although she took the time to celebrate, she believed that turning the page and moving her focus to the rest of the season was her priority. I think Addie, um, because she is so passionate about being here and she's very competitive, I think those are the things that really rub off on her teammates um, and, and kind of inspire those around her. Um, you know, she wants to beat people when she goes out there and, and sometimes that means even her teammates, but I think that's good. That's a healthy environment. That's what we want at the University of Florida. I think that's what's going to make our team, um, you know, really successful. And so she does, does a good job in, in a healthy way of using that to inspire those around her. After winning her first collegiate title, managing the expectations was something that ultimately helped Baggerly mature as a leader for the team. Coming off a sophomore season, in which she competed in every tournament but one, Baggerly understands the process and the goals that lie ahead. My goals this year, you know, is just to kind of focus on the process of my own game and how that will eventually help out the team um, come spring. But I feel like golf is such an individual sport and we are fortunate enough to play it in a team environment to where if we focus on ourselves in the long run, it'll definitely help out the team. I think we're just really impressed with the progress she's made in the last couple years. Um, on the golf course, for sure, I think her talent is, um, you know, she's made her game more diversified, which has led to lower scores. But really her growth off the golf course, I think, is what is going to um, help her shoot lower numbers this year and why you really see her making some big strides. Her maturity level, um, her seriousness, and her toughness level, I think, are going to be big keys for her this year. Baggerly's work ethic and commitment to her team was on full display at the Glass City Invitational. She moved up 33 spots in the third round to shoot a career-low 67 to ensure a Gator victory. Addie Baggerly, a Gator through and through. For Gator Zone, I'm Maddie Camperi.